Hey guys, Zero here, and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. So, uh, we've just gotten done with, uh, getting out of Deden's, Deden's hold, and, uh, we can't go this way, so we're gonna have to go a different way. Let's watch and learn. You look very good swinging the sword, Yuri. You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Uh oh, really? Well, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. <laughs> that's a little creepy. Okay, anyway. Let's continue. So, uh, can't go through there because of the giant monster blocking the other way, but we have received a little tip-off that if we go around here, we can... Oh, hello there. Well, I guess we can't proceed to our destination yet because Mr. Let's see. Mini Cloyd here does not want us to. Let's use a magic lens on them so we can figure out what they are. Excellent. And there's a bunch of them like this, it just gets a little bit difficult to deal with them sometimes. But they're not really that hard actually. We don't actually we won't run across any real tough enemies for a while. These are all starter enemies. Resound, oh cry of victory! Alright. <laughs> Alright, as I was saying, we're gonna go to the I believe Koi. Koya Woods? No, 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 no. We already fought one of your kind. Ah, crap. Okay. Let's work together. Well, I suppose it won't hurt too bad. How's this? Oh. Sharpness. Okay. So that basically increases my attack <laughs> power. Up. It's just a little, uh, I don't know, a little modifier type of thing. It's Kind of neat, but not super useful. All right, here we go. New location. Koi, I'm gonna say Koi. Koi. Koi Woods. A forest in a place like this can only mean the Koi Woods. Yeah, it's Koi. Okay, cool. I got it right. Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. I, uh, I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so scary. I'm gonna stay home and read a book. Ah, uh, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? It's fine by me, but what about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. The curse, as Estelle knows it. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care <laughs> of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. Yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? She'd probably be like, oh my gosh, she just turned into a frog slash snake. What are we going to do now? I don't know, I should probably freak out about it a little bit. Ooh, hello there, dandelion plant monster. Let's work together! It's time to beat you up, but first... Let's figure out how much health you have. 900 health. Excellent. I like the dandelion plants. They look so bouncy, don't they? Just look at them. Boing, boing, boing. Resound, oh cry of victory! Woof. Woof. I feel power running all through my body. Ooh. Okay, so we got a title here. And the way titles work, whoops, is under character details, you can change to their title, which, uh, usually doesn't do much of anything. Um, it changes some announcements, like sometimes people will call you by your title. 
and occasionally some titles will actually give you different clothing, which is kind of cool. Um, and then you have attachments, which are just tiny little attachments that you can add onto your character. Uh, they're, they're sometimes kind of neat, but usually they don't do much of anything. Like, I think uh, Estelle can get some glasses, and Yuri can get like a hat or something. What's over here? Secrets? Oh wait, no, I didn't check out what you were yet. By the way, look at look at Yuri right there. Isn't that a cool pick? He was in a pretty cool pose there. I like trying to get all these guys that I can. No, heal him, heal him. Good job. Leave her alone. She's just a girl. Ow. Uh, I think Rapid needs some help. There we go. But why'd you heal yourself? You're not the one in danger. Heal me. Heal me. Sorry, I have to tell her to heal me because she's not doing it. There we go. Sometimes if she's... Usually their auto uh, thing will take care of it for you, but sometimes you gotta tell them what to do, because they're just a little ditzy and dumb. Hello, Wolfman. Would you like to fight? Sorry if I hurt you. Oh, you're not Wolfman, you're just Wolf. Thank you. Hello, Wolf. Prepare to meet your doom. <laughs> Level up. Alright, what is in chest numero dos? Iron circlet. Yes, okay, so... This is... Usually when you go into a, uh, into a dungeon, there's usually some stuff in the dungeon that's usually an upgrade of whatever you currently had. And you could either have bought it in a store, or you could have uh, gotten it through the next dungeon. So if you don't have enough money to buy whichever in a store, you usually see a copy of it coming up in the dungeon. So, that's that's pretty good. You always get a chance to get most of the stuff. Did you hear something? My feet feel cold all of a sudden. Oh no, is this the curse? What sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway? The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom. Really? Oh, brother. What's that? I know that's what Yuri's thinking too, really. Can I just knock her out and drag her with me? Lastia? What's it doing in a place like this? Let's take a break. I I'm alright. What's this? Are you serious? <gasps> oh, okay, never mind, it's something else. Estelle! I thought she just totally didn't notice the thing we were talking about, but I guess she noticed something else. Damn, that's bitter. You alright? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. It's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Indeed, it may have. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't. If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... And what if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry.
<laughs> Eat this fruit. It's delicious. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Little <laughs> liar. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Are Here you worried go. at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? That must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. Why did we need a fire to make this? Thank you for the meal. No, it wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. Guess what, guys? It's time for the cooking tutorial. Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg, which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And there you are, a delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. It's a sandwich. You can't mess that up. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking. But some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? <laughs> oh my gosh, we learned how to make sandwich! Alright, so this is what I think's funny. Hold on, let's... Well, here. Let's skip that for a second. We'll go back to it. But this is what I think's funny, okay? So you can go cooking, right? And for our menu, we're going to make a sandwich. Let's say that. Okay. And let's just cook that really quick. Okay, we successfully cooked a sandwich. We can also unsuccessfully cook a sandwich. My question is, how do you like not make a sandwich correctly do you do not put it together right or I, I don't even know it's just terrible repeat when I passed out you laid down and made the nicest pillow for me thank you very much what are you doing I'm um thanking repeat repeat he's not here huh what maybe he doesn't like me Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm recording this at like one in the morning. I don't know why, I've gotten into a habit of doing it. It just it just feels right to do it like right before I go to bed. But uh Anyway, I th I just think it's funny. It's like this is the only game in the world that you can fail at making a sandwich. Which has to be quite an accomplishment in itself. I mean, maybe maybe Estelle might not be able to do it because she's never, you know, made anything before. But goodness gracious, that's got to be hard to fail a sandwich. Anyway, um, like they were saying, cooking is sort of like a side thing. Like, um, you can only do it when the party is not full, and they're full whenever they uh, whenever they go and get. Like when you make them eat, they're full until the next bat until you do another battle. So it can sort of just be used to top off your health, or um, you can eat some food, like sometimes some foods will give you a, 
like physical defense or physical strength up, magical defense, magical strength up. You can get little uh, little modifiers and stuff. But it's usually not a main thing to worry about. Pre prepare to die, Egg Bear! <laughs> this kid's pretty funny. He's pretty loopy, too. I think I think Yuri is just just probably thinking, why am I having to deal with these people? They're all crazy. I'm like the only sane person here. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle, and you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? Pop 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 pop. You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halor. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear! The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort! See that? I've even got my own Blastia! <laughs> Wait, what? you guys have them too? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? Snack. It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind <laughs> of handicap or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. So you have to hey, break your sword. that's actually not too bad. Yo! Do you guys even know where you're going? Halora's to the north once you get out of the woods! Come on, guys! Wait for me! Obtain monster book. Hello, Carol. You've joined the party. Welcome. But is this a curse, I wonder? We can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh, could this be the This curse? is the entrance right what over there. Do, Yuri? there. What really do you mean we can't find our way all? through? Don't be stupid. Or do you not have a good sense it's of direction? It's right in front no, of us. Of course I do. I think. Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool. But I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have a bad sense of direction? Look, this is the exit right here. Uh-oh. Cryptic lights coming from stone. But shall we know what they mean? Uh-oh. It's the white-haired dude. It must mean something. Cool. All right, guys. So now we're going to Halur, which I believe it's called the City of Blossoms. Halur, the City of Blossoms. 
Yep. Hello. 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 <laughs> I actually quite like this place. Although, as of right now, there's Hello. a problem with the place. The city of Blossoms. Yeah, that's right. Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Hulur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier. Tree barrier? Tree barrier. Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halur is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. Well, thank Third you, bread and book. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now. And the monsters took the opportunity to attack. These monsters the seem a little down? coordinated. Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! Wh what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! Does that kid ever sit still? Nope. So I guess you'll be too looking much for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? No, she's got too much sugar, too. <sighs> Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? Hmm, let's take a look around. The lower mayor's residence. Let's see if there's anything in here. Ooh, got some orange gel. Just totally robbed that guy of his orange gel. Didn't even ask. Hope you don't need that orange gel because it's mine now. Ooh, hope you don't need that magical lens either because I stole it. Got anything good over here? Water's flowing into the house from a tree stem. Oh, that's pretty neat. Is that how they get their water in here? <laughs> that's very neat. I think that's cool. guys okay? Uh oh. Yeah. I guess the store is closed. The tree looks funny. I wonder why I question mark question mark almost as if I've never played this game before. Hello. Oh, we can't enter the end with those injuries. Might I help heal your wounds? Oh my, you can use healing arts? Why, that would be excellent. But I'm afraid we don't have very much money. No, no, I don't need any money. A amazing! The pain is all gone. Thank you very much. Uh, please don't mention it. My heavens, what amazing healing arts you have! How can we ever thank you? No, really, think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. Not a chance. Oh, that's a girl. Wow, I totally butchered that. Okay. Not a chance. The Knights refused to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. No, that's... that's not true. Ah, but one knight sure was different, wasn't he? Yes, that young man. If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the guild could come to protect us. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. A knight on a pilgrimage? Was the knight, na was the knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes. His name was Flynn Shifo Shifo. <laughs> His name was Flynn. Is he still in the city? No, he left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could help fix the barrier. Do you know where he went? It looked like he was headed east, but beyond that I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here and Flynn will come to us. 
Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes, I won't be able to relax until I see him. But I guess I feel better. Funny face. I think I'll have I'll think I'll have a look at this famous tree. Want to come? Want to come with? What kind of language is that? I can't I can't read that. Want to come with? Ah, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You okay not going after the Blastia core thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. <laughs> this Carol guy is kind of weird. This Carol guy is kind of weird. Restless, but that doesn't make him a bad person. He doesn't seem evil. But I'll bet he's got some weird thoughts going on in his head. You're only saying that because you can see some of yourself in him. You think the two of us are alike? Yes. It's like you have genuine emotions, but your pride won't let you show them. So I can't bring myself to dislike him. <laughs> Did I upset you? No, that's just some pretty deep insight about people you only just met, is all. Hey! <laughs> and we walk three steps forward. I had the wrong person. And none of the others from the guild are here either. I kept her waiting so long. She must have gotten mad and left. I wanted to show her Halur's flowers in full bloom. Then maybe... Carol, what's the matter? Where'd she go? Is she really gone? I'm doing the best I can. Carol? Let's give him some time alone. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's really over. Everything. Everything is over. Well, yeah, if you put it like that, everything's over. Yeah! We got weapons now! We're gonna beat those monsters! The mayor's gonna let us fight now! Let's beat up those monsters just like Vlad! You're gonna beat them up with some wooden swords? Yeah! Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is restored soon. Me too. Let's go take a quick look at that tree. Up here. The famous tree of Halur. Looks kind of gnarled up, actually. It's huge up close. The tree's flowers should blossom any day now. Yeah, I wish I could see it in full bloom. I, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. There's something about the image of a tall tree, vibrant with blossoms, and protecting the city that's so... romantic. You know, I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. Hmm, well if you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself? What do you mean? When monsters come again, more people are going to get hurt. Those kids we saw could be among them. That's true, but I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. What you need to heal is this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. What are the two of you do- oh, what are the two of you doing over here? We're trying to figure out why the tree is withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out that reason either. Oh, Carol, Carol, we- oh, Carol, Carol, we need your help. What are you talking about? It seems these two are trying to figure out the reason the tree's with it, so... Oh, is that all? Emo face. What do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Emo face. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice a strange color, emo face? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster's blood? I had no idea. Shocked face. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? 
it was nothing. Emo face. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri! The Tree of Halua. I can't wait until the tree's blossoms are in full bloom. They'll be fantastic. I bet there's a flood of petals big enough to just sweep you away. All those petals dancing in the breeze. It'd be like a dream. I wonder how they deal with all their houses getting buried in flowers every year. That's gotta be a pain to clean up. You really take the fun out of things, <laughs> Yuri. Gosh, it would be so annoying. There'd be like so many pretty flowers everywhere and then... They'd be like all over your yard and then you'd have to go rake them up and you'd have to go burn them. It'd be so annoying. I hate my life. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool right here. This is supposed to be a well, I presume. And it looks really cool. It's like sort of built into a stump. To the general store we go. Up, up, and away. Howdy! Welcome to the store. What can I get for you today? Do you have a pan... Do you have panacea bottles? Unfortunately, we're sold out at the moment. But how can that be? But you know, if I had the right ingredients, I'd be able to fix some up for you. What would you need to make it? I need three ingredients. Eggbear claw, nia fruit, and laloria petal. But why do you need a panacea bottle so badly? A kid came by the other day asking the same exact thing. We want to heal Halur's tree. What's that? I've never heard of using a panacea bottle on a tree before. Hmm. Yeah. What sort of thing is this Nia fruit you mentioned? That would be that bitter fruit you said was so delicious back in the woods. So what's an egg bear then? Sorry, I can't help you there. Monsters are beyond my expertise. If a member of the Hunting Blades were here, they might be able to tell you. They make a living hunting monsters. So that's why he was in the forest. What can you tell us about the Deloria petal? You know the tree in the middle of town, right? It's a petal from that tree. Normally we use magic resin, but there isn't any around these pots at all. But the tree is all withered. I believe the mayor has some Laloria petals. You might try asking him. Gotcha. We'll come back as soon as we got the ingredients together. Alright. So, we made it to Halor today and uh, figured out there's something wrong with the tree, but we can fix it. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Whoops. We've had to take care with us. Heh <laughs> yeah. I didn't actually mean to leave town. I was looking for a save point. So anyway, uh, this is where we're going to stop the episode for today. Um, it's been a good length episode. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, feedback is always appreciated. See you guys next time.